Hi guys, I'm going to give you a quick, hopefully quick, ketogenic diet update. So what I did is I started with a new gym, which I think most of you know about. I met with a uh, personal trainer to try to see, you know, maybe a better program for me, uh, what I should be on for my body type. And it is a little bit intimidating when you're almost 63 years old and you're walking in a gym and there's all 20 somethings and they got these wonderful bodies. But needless to say, um, I met with the, the gym uh, personal trainer and um, he put me through a 30 minute assessment. <laughs> so I'm physically pretty active. I have a stand up desk at work. I do a lot of walking and in the summertime when we camp, we do a lot of biking. I walk the beach and I do, you know, go to the gym, spin class, etc. Anyways, he did this 30 minute assessment and I, I kid you not, I thought it was going to puke. <laughs> I really did. After the assessment was over, I sat down with them for 30 minutes to work on a program. I'm going to probably go once a month um, and get on a really tight regimen with the trainer and then once or twice a week, I'm going to do this routine and then the next month check back in with the trainer. But anyway, so I sat there for 30 minutes then I got up to go and... <laughs> I could barely stand up. I was like, oh my gosh, my legs were quivering. They were like awfully weak. I walked out to the car. I barely got out to the car. I got in the car and I was like, oh my God, am I out of, out of shape? I couldn't believe it. So I drive home, I get home, open up the car door. I couldn't even get out of the car. It, it took me forever to get out of the car, then up the stairs into the house. It was unbelievable. The next day I was like in agony. The day after I was in agony. Um, Monday I went to a spin class and um, I did really good at the spin class but man every single muscle in my body, my abs, my core muscles, everything was killing me. So um, but anyways I'm really thrilled that I made that step that I made that commitment. So as far as keto I've been peeing on my sticks and I'm not, I'm not showing that I'm in ketosis at all. So I'm kind of bummed about that because I've been pretty well eating um, to, almost to my macros. You know, maybe not 100%. And there's still some things that I, um, I can't, you know, live without, which is my coffee cream. I, I have that in my coffee every day. So, um, but things are going well keto-wise. I love this easy sweet stuff. I, I swear by this. I mean, it does not impact my blood sugar level at all. There's zero carbs. It is just a, a really good alternative for me. And because I like sweet things, even my Bulletproof coffee in the morning, I end up putting like a couple of drops of this in there. And uh, when I do my Bulletproof coffee, people have asked, what do I do? I take my Skinny Girl Blender and I put a, a, um, an ounce of Kerrygold butter in there and an ounce of MCT oil in there. And then normally in the morning, I'll take two tablespoons of my collagen, Great Lakes Hydrogen Collagen, uh, kosher collagen that I use. I put two tablespoons of that in there and I put a couple of drops of my Easy Sweets, add my coffee, an immersion blender, blend it all up. It gets a little frothy and it tastes awesome. That's how we start my day. Sometimes I get up really early, five o'clock, um, you know, or so, and, and I'm drinking my Bulletproof coffee. The rest of my day, my macros, I eat a lot of vegetables, so um, I'm getting vegetable carbs, but I'm very little sweet, so I don't really get anything on the sweet carbs, and my protein is in check. Uh, I probably I probably could increase my fat content a little bit more, um, which I'm going to work on on my macros. But you know, hey, I, I'm doing whatever I can. I'm not going to be a slave to the scale. I'm not even going to get on the scale. Uh, my goal is not so much losing weight as it is, you know, toning. And I've been on um, <clears throat> you know healthcare kick for a while and trying to take care of my skin and you know things of that nature and it makes sense for me to really focus the beauty starts on the inside and works its way out and that's why for almost um uh, over a year now i've been taking a collagen supplement from great lakes i take two tablespoons twice a day i really think that's impacted a lot on my skin now my retin-a i'm going on four months of my retin-a pharmaceutical you know prescription retin-a and um, while I don't know that I'm seeing any difference on that, um, if I had to rate my skin between my collagen supplement for over a year, my Retin-A, and some of the other skincare treatments that I'm using, uh, I would say that my skin has improved over this last year, probably a good solid 60 to 70% as far as texture. And um, I just can't wait 
for the, the prescription grade Retin-A to really kick in and to see a difference in that. I think probably in another few months I might notice something on that. So I'm really loving my regimen. I will tell you though, I was kind of bummed on this one product I picked up at TJ Maxx. I love Manuka Honey and I was so excited about this um, foaming scrub and um, good things and it has all sorts of really good things in it but I've used it three times and each time it stings my face and I said oh I don't I don't know about that so I'm disappointed that it's probably even though it's mild it's probably for whatever wacky reason too harsh for me but another thing I picked up at TJ Maxx is um, A-R-A-D I don't know how to pronounce it our red or whatever um, and this is a um, exfoliating facial gel and I don't know if, if you're going to pick up on the camera but I've used quite a bit of this. It's a very hard to read tube. I'll link it in the description box. This stuff comes on brown and it's got little nobly things in it. Nobly. And it does not, does not bother my skin at all. I don't feel any irritation. I didn't feel irritations to be fair. I didn't feel any irritation here. Just, just it's stinging feeling. So this gives me no stinging feeling at all. It's really great stuff. So I'm really liking that. And I was really thrilled that Mary Ellen after 60 did a review on this smoothing peeling gel that I picked up because I had the same result. My skin went Whoosh! So um, all's good in my, my world. Um, I'm into cucumber facial wipes. But all's good in my world. I wish I could tell you I've lost more weight. I haven't. It's still those same two pounds. But I'm working, I think, with the gym and the trainer. I think it's going to make a big difference overall for me. So I'm actually super excited. And I have my ring light set up. And I have my two, I don't know what you call those. I, I don't think they're called umbrella lights, but that's what I'm going to call them. My two umbrella lights that I had taken from my office office not my home office and set up in here so my lighting I think for these types of videos I think is going to be spot on I hope so hey have a great day hope you have a wonderful week we have a snowstorm brewing or happening out here in New Hampshire and the roads look a little slick so um, I don't have to go into the office until this afternoon when I'm actually teaching a agency in the trenches class to uh, a number of realtors. So I'm teaching that class this afternoon until 4.30. No gym visit for me this afternoon, but um, hey, it's, pretty, it's, a, it's a pretty good day and I'm pretty happy with the results I'm seeing so far. Thankfully, I'm not sore from my personal trainer, but who knows when I go back next week and he's got a full program set up for me. <laughs> I'll keep you updated. Bye-bye.